Hello, this video is to show how to install and use CircleGuard. You're going to go to this GitHub that's going to be linked in the description. You're going to go down to download, click this, and you're going to select which one is appropriate for your OS. To get that, you'll have a zip file. Within the zip file, you will have to extract the zip file content. You're going to run circleguard.vbs. This will open up CircleGuard and this will take a while when you first launch it. Um, and we're gonna go to, you're gonna wanna go to investigations and settings, and you're going to want to go to settings and you're going to insert your API key. This is if you want to, for example, grab stuff from map replay and all of that, but I believe local replay should work without the API key. I'll link where you can get your API key in the description as well. So once you have that, you're going to, you, you have multiple options for investigation. There's similarity, which will look for similarities between that replay and multiple similarity groups. You have unstable rate, which will look at the unstable rate of the replay and see if the person is using relax cheats. Then frame time will show you if they're time warping. Snaps is highly inaccurate and if you're going to be trying to use snaps for aim assist, you should also use manual analysis. Now, when you install it, you're going to have these thresholds and these work, and you should just keep it at these because there's no real point of changing it. You just gotta use your own judgment on what the numbers are to see if they're cheating or not. Then, once you have all of that, the, the easiest way is to grab a replay from the person's profile, which you can find by, for example, going to someone's profile and going to their rep going to their plays. And when you click here, you'll have view details, report play, and you're just gonna wanna look for one that has download replay in it. Now, once you have that downloaded, when you choose replay, going to go to your downloads and you're going to grab it from your downloads so this one I know has f time warping in it so I'm going to select frame time but you can just select all of these if, if you want then you're going to want to click run at the bottom here and it'll take some time and you will get a result here you see this has 10.7 average frame time which is in fact time warping so now that you have that, you're going to want to go to your results page and then you can click copy template from here and then you can go to reddit.com and then you can create a new post um, under OC report and just paste this in there, uh, copy this, put that in there and there you go. You have a, something you can post to OC report that is enough to get someone bent. Now, obviously you don't just post this. On top of this, you should go to the person's page and you should click report and type, for example, time warp or whatever their cheating reason is. And there you go. That's how you use CircleGuard.